Hey there guys, Jack Barnwell here down in beautiful Naples, Florida, uh, where I spend my winter months with my other southern company, C3 Gardens. But I also do a lot of landscape design work, even down here in the southern parts of the country. And this job, this site that we're on right now, has been a complete and total makeover. Scraped everything out, which was really not very impressive whatsoever new owners of the house, new ideas, really, really exciting. We've started in and have most of the front landscape done, but the sides, the back are completely scraped and ready for a whole new vision. And so today I thought I'd walk you guys through everything that we have going on here uh, and everything that I'm dreaming up and scheming up. And uh, it's gonna be a really, really cool, complete renovation of this awesome property here on Marco Island, Florida. So let's check it out, dive in. So again, here we are, Marco Island, Florida, right on the water. Most properties here on Marco Island are on the water. It's a really unique island that it was dug all out into all these wild canals and everything so that all these beautiful residential properties could have their boats and be right on the water, right on the ocean, which is a really, really cool little secret paradise place to be. Well, not so secret anymore, that's for sure. As you can see, I'm a little bit bundled up this morning. It is. Florida cold this morning. I've uh, gotten a little weak being down here in the winters and stuff now, but yesterday morning it was 38 degrees. Uh, we actually had just a little bit of hazy frost on a few things. Um, nothing that created any real bad damage or anything, but um, that was cold for us. It was 38 for, you know, 10 minutes or so. It was really cold. <laughs> but um, I'm sure I'll be shedding these layers here pretty soon as soon as the sun comes up a little bit. It's supposed to be in the mid 70s, so don't worry about me. But uh, as we dive in here to this project on Marco Island, like I said, I do a bit of design work down here. And this one, these particular clients were clients of ours for C3 Gardens, my company that predominantly just does big, beautiful planters. So these gorgeous planters in the front and all over the pool and I are C3 Gardens work and they asked if I could redesign and reimagine the whole landscape. Um, and, and we've really come up with some fun, creative ideas, uh, like these little shell gardens up through the walkway here, uh, featuring some of these fun bromeliads and stuff. We've got a lot more to add to these beds. This is sort of the initial planting. We're gonna add more bromeliads, uh, more kind of beachy, drought tolerant, Florida, Florida Keys style to this. What I love about this particular section of the landscape is that at night, under these lights, it really glows, all this shell. Believe it or not, down here we use shell as mulch. Um, it's readily available. It's a um, very, very inexpensive product and it looks really beautiful. So this particular part of the landscape, we laid fabric down underneath and the shell to keep them really, really clean. And all the plantings that we'll put in here will be kind of in theme with that. And these big, huge boulders will also get planted. So we'll be planting all kinds of fun little epiphytes and things on these boulders that will really soften and enhance this walkway up through here. It'll be pretty fun. All of these palms and trees, all this stuff, this beautiful Sylvester palm are brand new. All this stuff was just put in. This is a really gorgeous, gorgeous specimen right here. And you can see these big old two by fours. This is the kind of traditional technique that is used to stand up a tree like this for the first year. Uh, usually about eight months to a year, the braces stay on because even a tree of this size the root ball is really pretty small. It's like a matchstick going in the ground. So without these braces in a big wind, it would very, very easily blow right over. Um, but with these guys, it'll stand really nice and strong and be good to go. After a year, those roots will take and it'll be fine. The braces can come right off. 
So this little part of the landscape kind of happened, you know, after the fact. This wasn't necessarily designed in, but like many of these large scale projects, as you're doing it and as you're diving in, it's really fun to have clients that are adaptable and open to changes and new ideas. And this walkway through the garden here came about because we realized that we were always coming down out the front door and cutting around the back and they were too. And you know, with the dogs and everything else, it just made sense to have a walkway through here. The dogs are chiming right in. Um, so this walkway was just laid. All of these joints are just mulched and everything for now, but all of this is gonna be planted. So we're gonna soften this right up with some plantings of really, really low growing sedums and uh, mosses. It's um, gonna be really pretty through here. So as we come off of this flagstone pathway, you'll notice this space out here is all this compacted gravel, which looks kind of funny right now, but this is being prepared for faux turf. This edging, it's a composite edging, was put in, and the faux turf, this will all get fine-tuned and compacted. The faux turf will go down, laid just like carpet, really, stretched out and everything, and they ad adhere it right to this composite edging um, and screw it in and everything, stretch it across here, and this whole thing's gonna be faux turf, which I'll explain why we ended up going with faux turf here in a minute, but essentially we wanted to completely eliminate the weekly mowing and maintenance, the noise, the you know gas powered tools being on this site at all. And uh, it's really gonna make this a much quieter, more peaceful space and much, much more environmentally savvy. So just this small piece of grass here, getting rid of it and making it into this really clean green faux turf was the way to go for this property for sure. This particular plant is a favorite of mine, really adaptable, can handle the full sun to part shade, no problem. It's called copper leaf and uh, really just fun, funky, wild foliage. Really tough, can be trimmed right down and everything like that. Um, this particular variety, I believe it's called Louisiana red and um, it is just really adaptable, can handle our kind of salty, sandy conditions here and um, gives a lot of really fun contrast. I love, down here in the tropics, I love all the wild foliage that we have and especially all the contrasting colors of different foliages and stuff together. It gives a lot of interest to the landscape. So, like I said, this whole section here is gonna be that faux turf and you can see here where I just put a new line in the guys that came and laid the edging, laid that line there, and I didn't really like it. It didn't have a very good feel and flow to it, so I'm gonna have them actually move it and give this a little bit nicer, more consistent, long, broad curve here, which I think will be a lot more pleasing to the eye, and this bed will expand a little bit. We'll till this all up, add some new plants in here, and rethink some of these beds. I'm totally fine with bigger gardens and less turf, especially if it means the lines are that much nicer and more beautiful because they, you know, once, once the turf is set and all those lines are established, they're there for good. So it's really important that those lines and those curves are just perfect. So that's about it for the front. We have some fine tuning to do, some miscellaneous things to get everything really dialed in, but in the back, we've got a whole, complete can of worms going on with the whole thing completely demoed and we're ready to dive in with a tremendous amount of plant material coming today. Big old team of guys and uh, I'm excited about that. So before we get into it and it becomes a big loud, you know, noisy job site, let's walk through that and I'll show you everything that I have going on. All right, so we're on the back side of the house now. Part of the back of the backyard here, right on the water and everything, was adapted into a dog run. We elected to do the faux turf product for the dog run, so it was really, really easy to clean up after them when they produce their dog bombs. And um, it's a really easy product to maintain. Again, nobody's gotta come back here with a mower, weed whipper, anything like that. Really easy to clean up, blow off the leaves and keep it really nice. Um, as we transition into this big, huge space behind the home, 
Um, again, we're looking right out at the water. Um, up through the canal here is this gorgeous, gorgeous island and um, a lot of mangrove and everything. Lots of beautiful wildlife and dolphins and stuff coming in through here. And so this is a really serene, beautiful place and the owners want to spend a lot more time out here. So the big key kind of central feature of this design is going to be this big oval shaped patio that we're going to dig in to this bank. So you can see the backyard has just sort of a, a big slope to it. And we're gonna dig down more or less this oval shape here. And we'll dig in that back, that'll drop down. There'll be a retaining wall all along there with little lights in it. And this will be a big oval shaped level patio for some chaise lounges, nice fire pit area look out at the water, watch the dolphins playing in the evening, have a glass of wine or two. Really, really sweet, sweet spot. And so the landscape was really designed around this whole key, pivotal, entertaining space. This big patio will then kind of integrate into the landscape. And originally, there was a lot, this was basically all grass, the whole backyard. Well, the new idea is no grass, whatsoever. No faux turf, no grass at all. It's all garden beds and this one big patio. So we're going to use large format, big flagstone pieces, much bigger than that front walkway up front. Some little stone staircases down into the patio, large format flagstone pieces that'll walk through here. There'll be some big stones, like a bench area sitting right here. You know, just a really organic garden pathway through here. And you can see the beds are huge in front of the pool cage here, down to this garden pathway. We've got a lot of square footage to work with. We've just started planting in some of the initial uh, palm trees and stuff. There's a lot more trees and shrub material coming later today. Here's a coconut tree that was just planted yesterday. Again, with some of that bracing put right on it, but that big, beautiful coconut tree is a really stunning specimen right there. Hasn't even been cut open yet, so all of its fronds are still tied all up tight. This is a pygmy date palm, still tied up as well, but a nice, tri-stem little pygmy palm there and um, again a lot of grade work to do here a lot of shaping still to do but it's cool to show you guys through a complete blank canvas like this because once we turn the corner and get this one all planted up you're gonna be mind blown at how unbelievably gorgeous this looks back here I'm really excited to work some big boulders in and plant all the little nooks and crannies and you know take it from just a sandy dusty nothing and make it this gorgeous tropical beautiful oasis they'll have lighting surround sound speakers it's gonna be really really their own private little you know oasis back here all right so it is starting to warm up a little bit now finally we were up pretty early this morning, but now it is gotta be getting near, I don't know, 65, 70 degrees. Pretty nice for those of you up north. I hope that these videos bring you some sunshine and some warmth and a little fun if you're snuggling in through these winter months. That'd be great. Um, but this, this last section of the, the back of the landscape here um, is gonna be, again, some really big broad scale you know large scale beds my paint is running out i go through so many of these cans of paint marking and drawing and everything it's kind of ridiculous but you get the gist i already kind of marked it out with a pipe dragging it through the sand so you can see some of these lines the beds are going to be huge all the beds that are on the water side are going to be finished with that white shell like a beach so everything on the water side is going to be finished with the white shell everything up here is going to be this heavily amended soil really mulchy um, 
garden bed feel to it, a lot fuller, more foundation plantings. And then out here will be more sparse, uh, beachy style plantings with the big, huge coconut trees arcing out and laying out over the water. Really, really cool feel to it. And again, that walkway in between the two styles of plantings that'll meander all through here, eliminating the need for having any lawn whatsoever out back. It's gonna be quite the change, completely transforming this property from all grass to no grass whatsoever. Um, stay tuned, we're gonna film a lot more on this property and we'll have another video coming your way soon of the whole finished project. It's gonna be absolutely epic, so stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys all soon. Cheers.